Hey everybody, MTG Orzo here with another EDH command game, Captain Sissy versus Grand Arbiter Augustin the Fourth. Sand doesn't do anything, so we're gonna keep it. Um, no, this hand really actually doesn't do anything. But I mean, it's got that Elish Norny we were looking for earlier. That's nice. He's yield until end of turn. I mean, we have Sissy mana, eventually we'll have a Johnny mana, and then eventually we'll have an Elish Norn. So basically, we're firing on all cylinders and nobody can stop me. Maybe I'll get to win a game on camera. That would be neat. I'd appreciate that. I don't always get what I want. Hey, we got a turn three play. Guard seems okay. It's not great in this deck, but it's not bad. Like, this card's really good when I'm winning. The card's really bad when I'm not. I think, I think one of the biggest indicators of whether I win or lose in this deck is whether or not this is a three mana enchantment that does nothing or does something. Uh, Mirage Mirror. That's a real magic card. It's one of those cards that like came out right as I was stopped playing, and I just don't care about. But it's supposed to be like super good, or it's like maybe it's not super good. It's it's, it's useful, man. It's useful. It has applications to the discerning magic player. Uh, cancel. Play the play the broccoli rights. Uh, okay. Yep. I mean, I guess this deck doesn't have a lot of creatures. That's not true, it has a bunch of creatures. I just never get any creatures. So, sometimes you, you know, you play three mana, do nothing, and it turns into Jurassic Park. Which is pretty neat, all things considered. Um, there's this guy, which means we can't play magic. Um, pass turn, because we can't do anything. From underneath the thumb, Oh, seven mana angels. Wait, they have the same flavor text? That seems incredibly lazy. Come on, Wizards, what are you doing? Come on, Wizards, what are you doing? Also, Bruna takes the same amount of mental wizardry to summon as an Elish Norn. Thought that was interesting. However, there's it's not really a however, it's more of a segue, but there's a very real chance that I won't be able to resolve anything in this game, or anything relevant at least. And you know what? That's okay. I don't need to resolve any of the cards that I've bought to feel like I've justified my purchase. But, you know, it's okay, we're not going to draw land, and then we're not. We're going we're to have to skip our turn. Well, okay, as far as, like, tempo, let's get the counter out of your hand. Oh! Hoo-hoo! Alright, alright, alright. Do you have, like, the... What do you have? And will it let me replay Growing Rights of Jurassic Park? No, Sphinx Rev for two. That's... No, Sphinx Rev for three. Because of... No, four! Jesus. Right. That card. Um, well, I mean... I mean, so we're over here playing Fear Magic, and... Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes we can't get to play our shiny cards with orange symbols in the corner. What you reveal? Oh, Path, great. Path and Angel's Grace. <laughs> well. It's good to know, like, on like cosmic level, that card can't be correct. Ah. <sighs> 
what is this car doing in here? It is three mana draw card. You get a one two. Doesn't even get cost reduced. Oh, he pathed it for a land. Plus, he gets the draw. That's probably not the correct use of Path to Exile in this situation. However, as has been previously established, I do not know how to play this game. So, I feel like we can, uh, we can all move past that. I can cast a Reki, though. So, if I'm not going to draw lands, I might as well draw things that aren't really threats, but I can cast under a Grand Augustine. Or Grand Arbiter, fuck you, whatever. Oh, am I recording? Yep, okay, cool. Maybe I fixed the problem by updating my computer. That would, that would be nice. Good, what the fuck is this card? Uh, Captain Sisse. I, I too enjoy not casting my commander. If my opponents make it so that I can't cast my commander, eventually I'll be able to cast my commander and it won't cost 8 mana because they remove it 9 times. So it's really a... Really a catch-22, huh? Yeah. I'm not... <clears throat> He's on the uh, Grand Arbiter. The, the classic challenge strategy of uh, commander damage via Grand Arbiter Augustine. Um, let's give a sword to this old man with a tattoo. Combat. You swords me, I swear to god. He's like, he's already played Path. But I know that doesn't affect the likelihood of his having... I mean, it probably does actually minusculely affect the likelihood of him having a swords in his hand, but getting pathed and swords, coming from someone who's been both and received, oh my god, um, feels real bad, is what I'm trying to say, when you get a, when you get pathed and then swords, or vice versa, it's really, uh, really not fun, like, this hand would do something if I could have a land. Oh, are we... are we locked? Like... What'd you get? What you got on there? Oh, Angel's Grace. Alright, I've got to figure out a way to... To figure out a way to deal with that. I mean, I guess... It... Has a crush and grip deals with that, but don't tell me how to live my life, Dad. What's he got? He's got to have something, right? I don't think he has a counter spell. I feel like that would have happened a while ago if he had one. He could just have a bunch of draft to draw cards. I think just pieces of the puzzle is like a legitimate magic card. It has applications. Isolation zone. Oh, well. Cool. We're back to not having anything. I do have nature's claim though. It seems I can eternal witness and nature's claim in like five turns and get rid of an ice concepter. They're not terrible. We did get the land too. Play it. Let's let's just keep putting pressure on him. The Tristani pass. Mark my words, you guys, eventually this, this fucking thing will transform. Um, until that point, however. 
we are squarely at the mercy of whatever nonsense he's about to cast. That was a real... Okay. Ah, yes. The control staple. Kozilek, the Butcher of Truth. Into, into Terrarian. <sighs> well, I lose. <laughs> 